Uh, greetings and shalom, brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome to Call to Conquer. My name is uh, Rhonda, and I pray you all are having an awesome day today. Uh, so the title of this video is um, Be Careful What You uh, Listen To. So um, in this video, but brothers and sisters, I'll just be talking about a dream, a brief dream that y'all gave me on Tuesday, March 19th of this year. And I have it jotted down for uh, 544 AM. And um, the dream started out, brothers and sisters, that where I was myself and um, these couples, I was with couples, um, were at what appeared to be like a hotel initially, but we later found out that we were entering into like the, I guess, foyer or whatever of some type of concert building, um, some, some type of uh, cathedral or I don't know what it was, but anyway, they were having a gospel concert there, brothers and sisters. And so I remember telling myself in the, the dream, I said, um, I don't go to things like this. You know, like, why are we here? But I knew that y'all wanted me to see what was going on. And so the other people that I w was with, brothers and sisters, shared my sentiments. And so we couldn't see, um, we couldn't, uh, from my viewpoint in the dream, I couldn't see the gospel artists that were singing, but we could hear them. And brothers and sisters, they were the Clark sisters. Um, it was another, uh, group of people with them um that were singing but i don't know who they were but i definitely know that, that it was the clark sister singing and so the people that were with me um had discernment like i had discernment brothers and sisters so what happened that made us turn right back around we started hearing the clark sisters you know like they were in, um engaging with the audience and they start sing they started singing a song saying we're crossing over we're crossing over come and go with us um something to that effect brothers and sisters and all of us me myself and the couples that i were, was with we all stopped and we said no um we immediately knew brothers and sisters that this was an initiation ritual and so we turned around and we got here we we hurried out of the that building brothers and sisters and so uh when i was waking up you know Holy Spirit was just telling me like, yeah, that's what it was. Like he said that many people are thinking that they're safe going to these gospel um, concerts and think they're safe listening to gospel music. And they don't know that the gospel music artists are just as worse, if not worse as the secular. They're owned by the same people. And when the Clark sisters were singing a song, we're crossing over the insight that, uh, y'all gave me was that okay so you know if anybody is know anyone that's affiliated with greek letter organizations um they love to say that we're crossing the burning sands i guess back into egypt or whatever and you know egypt is a place of bondage well that's what y'all told me um was happening with this song and he was he was holy spirit was saying that people don't realize that you can you can sing that a lot of songs are rituals um we we know that many artists i, I know uh, i was telling one of my family members the other day how i had warned these people that i used to pray with years ago um of uh, a lot of gospel artists that are you know um being found out now to not really be walking with y'all like how they were saying that and at the time you know the people the um some of the women were like oh i could tell brothers and sisters that they thought that i was just doing the most okay <laughs> i could tell that they thought i was like oh ronda's just being extra and uh i knew that i wasn't um i'm used to being that type of person that everybody's like oh she's just she's thinking too much and i know that i'm not thinking too much brothers and sisters because what what happened to me when i when i listened to certain artists um is that i would start getting irritated and when i got here and that's what i told um the young women back then i said listen i said that because they wanted details they was like well we need we need proof i said the holy spirit is my proof like 
the Holy Spirit literally is my proof. I believe what he says and I know his voice. And whenever I start listening to someone song and I, my spirit starts, I start getting irritated and it hurts my ears. That's the Holy Spirit within me letting me know that something is going on. And when I will listen to, um, a lot of the gospel artists, I think at the time I warned them about Dante Bowie. Um, I even warned about, uh, you know, uh, Chandler Moore and stuff. And I warned about a lot of gospel artists because like I, I mentioned, I have, I had family that dealt with the music industry, brothers and sisters. And they said, told me a lot of the gospel artists were in fact gay. Um, a lot of gospel, both men and women, a lot of them, uh, cheat on their wives. And they, that he told me that, uh, my family members told me that a lot of them owned the, the, the music was owned by the same people. If you pay attention, a lot of them are in Greek letter organizations. Okay. A lot of the, um, secular music artists are in Greek letter organizations. And so you're being you're being played brothers and sisters. You're being um, deceived. And to me, it's worse. It's much worse than the world because at least they're telling what they're doing, but you have gospel music artists that are, um, professing to be believers, blood washed believers, and they're worshiping Baphomet. That's, that's, that's very deceptive. It is very deceptive. And so, you have to be careful who you listen to. And so like for a while now, brothers and sisters, like I remember the other day turning on the radio on the gospel music station and I had to turn it back off because the music was so horrible. It sound it was, it was like I was listening to secular music. That's how bad it was. And I don't, you normally, I don't turn on the radio anyway. Like even when I'm in worship now and I'm spending with my, in my quiet time with, uh, with Yah, he, the Holy Spirit will give me songs to sing to Yah. Like he'll start singing through me. Like a lot of those songs on my um page, not all of them are majority of them are songs that I've literally got from Holy Spirit in the secret place, you know, and he'll tell me, say, sing this to Yah. And so I was singing and he would tell me to, to, uh, you know, get my phone and record it. And so I can share it with you guys. So, um, yeah, just be careful. I know even with, um, like a lot of, a lot of the, uh, gospel artists are, they sell beer at their concerts. Cause a lot of people have been talking about it. Um, these people have to do rituals just like the second secular music artists to get where they're, um, going brothers and sisters and a lot of them especially the ones that were child stars have been groomed since children okay that's why you see a lot of them crossing over um into uh secular music or just just uh doing doing um songs with secular music artists because they serve the same god little g and so yeah this is this isn't the first time that y'all has told me um something about the Clark sisters, so you just told me the Clark sisters are a coven of witches. Now, I know that may be shocking to many of you. I was shocked to hear that. I was shocked, but then I wasn't, you know. That's why they wasn't, they weren't interested in shutting down Beyonce when she used their lyrics. Um, <laughs> that's why they actually told the church uh, people to shut their mouth and allow, and, and leave Beyonce alone. Even though this same Beyonce um, spoke against their God and said that she takes the pages of the Bible and 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 stuff her hoo ha, so doing her 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 ministry, so make it make sense. Like you can't you can't light and darkness does not walk together. It does not work together, brothers and sisters. The Bible says you you know no man can serve two masters. Either he will love the one or hate the other. And so I have many videos um telling me how y'all showed me uh about um Tasha Cobbs, he showed me Chandler Moore, he showed me so many others. Yeah, so I had to come back and do a um add on to the video, but um 
I had a, a dream. He told me to go ahead and add this dream that I had about Chandler and Tasha uh, Cobbs. And um, let's see, brothers and sisters, because I made sure before this to, you know, have it, have my things um, pulled up. Um, but this dream right here was also short. Um, I had it on March 29th, 24, 2024, basically this year. And I have the time for seven, um, oh, 08 AM. And, uh, I saw that <clears throat> I was in the kitchen having Bible study with Chandler Moore. I was telling them, um, Tasha Cobbs was there to uh, brothers and sisters telling them that there are only some things that y'all can move. Like if you're struggling with some stuff, there are only things that, um, he can move. And so let me see. I'm trying to read this. Yeah. Um, now if you see my other videos on Tasha Cobbs, um, like when I took a two month break at the beginning of this year, um, y'all would just show me her back to back to back. And, uh, I remember in one dream, you know, she basically like telling me like she was struggling with a uh, same sex attraction and stuff. And, um, that's what I was talking to her and Chandler about in this particular dream right here. And I told them, I, like, I was telling them like, well, y'all gotta pray. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta repent and stuff like that. So I thought that dream was odd, but you know, I know that y'all will reveal, um, men and women's hearts, brothers and sisters. Y'all will do that. Cause some, every dream that we have is not from y'all, but that's why you need discernment. Okay. And you know, I don't obviously share everything that y'all gives me, um, to share unless he tells me to share that. And so, yeah, it's just a, a gradual decline. Um, brothers and sisters, like, you know, I've been noticing, I noticed a lot of stars, uh, even with Ja'Kalen Carr, brothers and sisters, like with Ja'Kalen anointed, okay, anointed. But even she's a part of a uh, sorority now. And here's the thing, like, I don't just be looking up these people. I'll be in prayer or just minding my business and y'all be like, I want you to go uh look look certain look certain stuff up. And it's a particular day, like a while back, he told me to um look and see what she was doing. You know, it it I, it was confirmed that she was a part of a sorority. You know, um, it Sigma Gamma Rho, and I was just like, wow, she was an honorary member. Um, I know Fantasia was a part of the same one. Erica Campbell is a part of, um, AKA, um, Shirley, even Shirley Caesar. Now there's definitely been claims on her brothers and sisters, uh, is a part of Delta Sigma Theta. Um, so where, where is the difference? Where's, is, where's is it? Where are they set apart at? Even Smokey Norfolk, like it's so many others are a part of Greek letter organizations brothers and sisters and y'all is not pleased and this is this is the filth that we're listening to that you're listening to and you're taking in and you know spirits attach themselves to people and, and music is a medium brothers and sisters it's a medium and so these people have pledged allegiance to boss Baphomet, and you're playing this stuff um on the on your through the speakers and stuff and all in your house and stuff and y'all is not pleased he's not pleased like i mentioned that's why i just turned a lot of things off and i just sing you know um y'all have me sometimes singing the hymns or like i say holy spirit give me a song to sing to y'all um He's been talking to me heavy about idolatry. But idolatry is so bad here. It's so bad, brothers and sisters. Things that are not supposed to be in the body of Christ. 
have crept in. And you got to be mindful. Stop thinking when, when y'all sends people to warn you guys, oh, they're being too religious. They're being too holy. No, they're not, brothers and sisters. No, they're not. You guys know how it is being in a relationship like with your husband, if you're a wife or um, with your wife or you're a husband, or even if it's just your fiance or uh, or whatever. You know, when you really love somebody, you want to do things that please them. And if, you know, your husband were to tell you as, a, as his wife, hey, you know, I don't like you hanging around those people. I don't like... Um, you listen to that and they, and you, and you ask them, you know, okay, why? And they tell you like, like, because they're trying, they're coming between, coming in between me and you, they're doing things, um, that I don't necessarily agree with. You're going to do your best to try to please that person and keep peace in your home. It's the same thing with y'all brothers and sisters. And it's only when you're being intimate with him, with y'all spending time in his presence that he'll start showing you the things that he don't like and point, point out things that um you probably haven't noticed about things that you're doing in your life and because we want to please him we get rid of those things and so because some of us are all of us are on different levels you will have somebody else come and tell you like hey you know you need to check into that and what we do instead of going back to Yah with it and ask him what he what he thinks we'll just cast it aside and call them religious are they being uh, or whatever? No, always go and go back and pray. He's he's not pleased with a lot of this filth, this filthy music. It's not just the secular music, you know. It curse words don't only have to be four letter words, brothers and sisters. There's there's a, a thing called back maxing, and if you were to play some of these songs backward, you would hear the worship of satan in the songs a lot of the the celebrities are using one eye symbol, symbolism i've seen mary mary do it multiple times and i i have it in my other videos and stuff but uh yeah we have to repent we have to repent and the dream just show like even singing you can be initiated through singing these songs brothers and sisters and you wonder why you having dreams about this and having dreams about that. Because you've been initiated into covens. Into things that you don't even know of. Check the spirit behind the person. I don't care if you listen to somebody on the YouTube. On YouTube. Check the spirit. See what the Holy Spirit is saying. Stop ignoring that, that thing. Stop ignoring the voice of the Holy Spirit is saying, hey, strange fire. Because he sure says it to me. Strange fire. Okay. Our souls matter. Eternity matters, brothers and sisters. And every day we have to do, uh, ch take inventory of our life. And we have to go to Yah. And do like King David did and say, search me, O God, and see if there be, there be any unclean way in me and lead me into the way everlasting. And then they have these people in churches that are living any kind of way, brothers and sisters, over the worship. Do you know how polluted this makes things? They're living all kind of lifestyles, but you got them on the drums. You got them on the organs. You got them as the choir director. You have them on the praise team. And you're just a letting them, you're letting them sing. They're no repentance, no nothing. God is not pleased. Y'all is not pleased. <sighs> Time to get things right, brothers and sisters. Time to get it right.